Okay, and we're back. So let's go back onto here. Let's hide that for a minute and get that back up here. There we go. So um, right. So you'll notice that um, I have it's grayed on this little um, layer here and layer two where the Suzanne monkey head is. I've not selected that when I rendered it and it didn't render it. It's not in my render. Now, interesting. So this could be a gotcha. So currently in here, Suzanne, it says is. I think this would is. Hmm, how do you describe this? Well, we can see it if we're looking at um, a layer. Um, so we can see it in the viewport if we want to. We can select it, I and mean, it is renderable. It doesn't render though because we haven't got it selected on a layer. So this is a uh, a property that it is capable of being rendered. It doesn't mean it's going to be rendered though. Does that does that make sense? Because I've decided to put this onto layer two. The Suzanne head is on layer two, um, but it's not rendering because I haven't selected layer two as one of the things I want to do. So if I hold down Shift and click on that, and hold down Shift and click on sorry, hold down Shift and click on both of these guys. There we go. So when they're both greyed out, or whether where they're, they're both filled in on here, and then they will render. That's the only way you're going to get a render of this, even though it says over here that you're going to render it and if I select the property page in here and I've got ray visibility to camera diffuse blah 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 yeah and uh, display it's, you know it's, it's it's it has the ability to be rendered but um, layers override will it be rendered or not I think that's the best way of describing that um, and you've got uh, one two three four five six you got ten ten layers along here and these are alternate layers down the bottom now I've heard something about alternate layers are probably something to do with passes I don't know I need to look into that later but currently I don't think we need to really like get too bothered about it so we've got layers up here um, and this is for visibility uh, in the viewport and renderability so these are the layers that are going to get rendered basically yeah so this is viewport stuff and ability to render and ability to select and ability to see it in the viewport uh, layers over here is a little bit extra so this is like the thing that says yes I'm going to render you or no I'm not going to render you don't forget if you switch this layer if you go just you just do that then wish this wouldn't keep popping off then um, you won't be able to render it okay if I switch this on so we're doing this there we go so they're both linked and when I go and hit render now go here and hit render this should now render it he says shall we wait for it uh, shouldn't take too long I mean we are recording so that's gonna like not have there you go so it does impact it okay so that does render it yeah let's um No, we'll just let it finish, might as well. Because if I go and escape it, I'm not sure if we're going to go and escape um, other things. Oh, you'll notice in the frame at the top, it shows you your current frame, uh, your last render time, the time currently, how long before you'll finish the render. So that's quite a nice little gizmotion gadgets up there in your uh, render panel, a little extra. So yeah, so that's rendering it. And if I go here and just turn this off, so I'm just looking at that one layer. If I go back to uh, rendering again, you'll now notice that it will not render that item. Uh, the little dot says there are things in this layer, but you're currently not displaying them. If you're not going to display them, then I'm not going to render them. Um, yeah. And again, even though uh, the viewport says show it in the viewport it's not showing it in the viewport um, because it's on another layer so these this is like a a master switch basically I would say that's the way of looking at that uh, hope that's not too confusing for people but um, yeah something to be aware of on, on first time I've looked at layers so hey ho uh, and you'll find um, when I go to select this guy here, for instance, if I'm looking in the uh, tab here, if I go, da, 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 where was it in? 
it actually tells you somewhere. There we go. It tells you what layer it's on. Yeah, and I can probably move it to layer one, and I have. So now, when I, now there's no, no data in this layer. So there's a couple of ways of um, moving things to new layers. So if I go here, for instance, and I select, um, I'm just going to select this item here. So this cat. So now uh, this highlights cat Dyson is now highlighted over here, and then this property page relates to him now. And if I want to put him on layer two, I can, and he'll disappear. Yeah, so that's probably an easier way to manage um, layers, probably, I'd think, and then put him back again. Just puts him back. Or you can press the M key, and you get this uh, move to layer idea. I, I think I like that better, actually. Cause that's more, because then you've got all these layers. So I imagine I can put him on that layer. Yeah, or that layer, or that layer. There you go, layers. How cool is that? Pretty cool. So... Yeah, that'll do, I think. That sort of sorts that out. Sort of makes more sense now, doesn't it? Again, these things, what you see in this um, property page panel depends what you have selected. If you've got a camera selected, you're not going to see this because it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it's not made for it or whatever you want to call it. Struggling for words. Need a cup of tea. Right, uh, that'll do, won't it? So this is layers part two. Simple as that. Catch you in a bit. Bye.